Hello sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm back with the second game in our series of the, uh, uh, the 1920 Cardinals against the 1986 Mets. Now, if you saw the first game, I, you know, shouldn't really be giving anything away here, but if you saw the first game, you know that the 86 Mets won the first game behind Dwight Gooden and his uh, rather masterful performance uh, going the entire game allowing only eight hits and walking two and allowing no earned runs to win eight nothing. But the Cardinals are back and this time we're in St. Louis so we'll see if that makes a difference if that helps the Cardinals of 1920 and uh, the pitching matchup today will be Ron Darling for the 1986 Mets and Bill Doak of the 1920 Cardinals. So the Mets bat first so let's get on with that. Um, Mookie Wilson will be the first batter for the Mets. And he gets a 3-9, which is a walk. So, immediately, they start by... Um, they get to Doak immediately with, with uh, Mookie Wilson, who is now at first base. And he's a stealing A. He's going to try to steal second. He gets a 5. There is no catcher in the world that would throw him out on a 5. So, he does steal second base and this is an auspicious start for the New York Mets who now have Lenny Dykstra up and he gets a 2-7 which is a walk and so that really that stolen base was uh, potentially um, didn't make a difference at all and Keith Hernandez is up he gets a 2-7 which is a single and loads the bases for the Mets with no outs and uh, Doak has now walked two and allowed a hit to load the bases for the Mets, who now have Daryl Strawberry up, and he gets a 1-9, which is a strikeout. One away. So the straw man is out. And now Doak just needs a double play or another or some type of like a pop out or a strikeout. Gary Carter up and he's not going to get it. What he's going to get is a grand slam by Gary Carter. And that knocks in four runs and the Mets are all of a sudden definitely in the driver's seat. Doak comes out and to the mound and he is greeted with a barrage and he still only has one out and Wally Backman up and that's a 210 which is a ground ball B two away and up steps Kevin Mitchell and he gets a 18 which is a ground ball third base and he is out so the bets finally do go down um, in the top of the first, but not before they drop a four spot on Doak and the uh, and the Cardinals. And now the Cardinals' great offense. This is where it really needs to start getting to work because it scored nothing on the Mets in Game One. And Jack Smith leads it off six six. That's a fly ball to left field, so that's one away. Jack Smith is out. Jack Fournier comes up and he gets a 1-7 which is a ground ball to third and he's out. And that brings up Rogers Hornsby, one of the best hitters in baseball history. He gets a single 1-10. to And he is out on a line out to short. So the Cardinals go 1-2-3 in the first. Not what they needed at all. Ray Knight coming up in the top of the uh, second inning. And he gets a 1-5, which is a double one or a single. And that's going to be a single for Ray Knight. 
And he, Ray Knight, is actually three for five in the series. And now the Cardinals are going to be looking for a reliever because they are, they've got problems here. They're going to have Jackie May warming up in the Cardinal bullpen. Rafael Santana up with a man aboard and no outs. And he gets a 5-8. And that's a fly ball to left, one away. Santana does not have a hit so far, but he's out there for his glove. Mookie Wilson's up. He gets a 2-9, which is a strikeout, two away. And now Doke has settled down a little bit. And Lenny Dykstra's up. 2-6 is a walk. So he allows... Yet another walk. That's the third walk in just the second inning. And Keith Hernandez is up, and he gets 3-5, which is a strikeout. So, uh, that the, the Mets, luckily for the Cardinals, the Mets don't score anything there, even though they did threaten a little bit. And again, um, unless you haven't been following my series, my round robin series, um, all games are DH, even the National League games, because it um, it's harder for me to concentrate on where I am and what I'm doing if um, I'm if I have to do pitcher bat and move pitchers and batters and DH or pinch hitters and it just makes me lose my train of thought and it's a lot simpler anyway. And that's why I do the basic game, too, because to tape it, to tape a game, it's a lot quicker to do the basic game than it would be to do um, an advanced game. So Austin McHenry is up, and he gets a 110, which is a triple 1 to 9 or a double. So here we go. Here's where the, uh, that's a double. Here's where the Cardinal offense may have to start coming through here. That's only the second extra base hit for the Cardinals in the series. And it's the first hit that Ron Darling has given up. And that brings up Cliff Heathcote. And he gets a 2-2, which is a line out to second base plus injury. So we will roll that in a minute. And we'll deal with that in just a minute. Um, Milt Stock is up. He gets a 6-11. That's a ground, that's a fly ball to left. The left fielder is Moogie Wilson, and he's a 2 and I believe that's an out. Five and two is an out. Two away. Nobody, nobody goes anywhere on that. And Levon is up. Doc Levon, he gets a one seven. He flies out to left. Um, so the Cardinals get no runs in the second. And now we ha also have to deal with the injury to Cliff Heathcote. And that's going to be a 15, so he's gone. He's gone for, a, well, definitely this series, even if the, the um, Cardinals somehow come back and win the game. So Heathcote is the, D well, the good news is Heathcote's the DH, so they can pretty much just put anybody in. Um... They will... Um, hmm. I don't really know this team well enough to know who should be going in. All right, we're going to put in Hell Janvrin. And we're also going to bring in uh, Jackie May to pitch, the Cardinals will. So we have two changes. Jackie May is the new pitcher. And Hell Javrin. J Janvrin is the new DH. And so we got uh, Jackie May. So Doke only lasted two. And it wasn't two very good innings. And now the Mets will come up in the, uh, is that right? Yes, in the top of the third. Daryl Strawberry up at the plate. He gets a 212, which is a strikeout. Odd place for a strikeout, but there it is. Jackie May striking 
out the straw man. Gary Carter's up. He gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. And that brings up Wally Backman. And Wally Backman is going to hit a single. So the Mets have had a base runner in every inning. Backman with the single. He's two for five in the series. First hit allowed for Jackie May. And Kevin Mitchell's up. And he gets a 1-8, which is a ground ball to third. And that is the end of the inning. No runs come across for the Mets. And that brings up the Cardinals. Trying to get four runs. They're down 4 nothing. Bottom of the third. Joe Schultz is up. He gets a 3-10, which is a ground ball. So that's one away. Vern Clemens is up. That's a 5-7. That's a strikeout. Two away. This Met pitching was just really stupendous. First strikeout for Ron Darling, and Jack Smith is up. He gets a 3-8, and that is a ground ball to third, and he's out. So, no runs come across for St. Louis. And we go to the top of the fourth. The Mets winning so far 4 nothing, and Ray Knight up. 5-10 is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the Cardinals is... Um, Levon and he's a three. That's a 20 and a three. Probably a roll again. I'm going to guess on that. And it is. And that's a two and a three. That's going to be a hit. So, and it is. A single for Ray Knight, who has another hit. Ray Knight is, as far as his batting average goes, is one of the the best, maybe the best Mets player so far. He's four for six in the series. Rafael Santana, 6'5". That's going to be a strikeout, one away. And Santana has been easily the worst batting Met. But again, he's out there for his glove work at short. Mookie Wilson gets a 5'9". That's a strikeout, two away. And Jackie May has been great coming on for Doak, who did not pitch well at all. 5'11", that's a walk. So the Mets have two on with two out. Dykstra working the walk. And Keith Hernandez is up. He gets a 1'11", which is a ground ball, second base A, and he is out. And they're out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth with the Cardinals still losing 4 0. Jackie May pitching well in relief of Doak, but they still got to get four runs somehow. Jack Fournier gets a 2 7, which is a ground ball to first, and he's out. Rogers Hornsby gets a 2 7, which is a fly ball to left field. He's out. Two away. And Austin McHenry. Gets a 6-5, which is a walk. So Austin McHenry has been on twice. He's doubled once and walked this time. And he actually represents both base runners that Darling has given up. The walk and the double. Hal Janvrin for his first at bat, and he grounds to third, and he's out. So the Cardinals come away with nothing there. We go to the top of the fifth. And Daryl the straw man is up, 5-7, that's a ground ball to second. The second baseman is Hornsby, and he is a two. That is a two, though, and that's going to be a single. So it gets by Hornsby, and Strawberry is on with a hit. And that's his first hit of the series, too. Jackie May allowing the hit. Gary Carter up, 2-5 is a strikeout, one away. And Wally Backman's up, and he gets a 5-7, which is the ground ball to second, and he is a 2, and that's a 12. That'll be an out, I believe. And it is. So Backman is out, and they're out of the inning. 
and they did score no runs. And no runs come across, and we are going to have some action in the bullpen for the Cardinals. Um, Billy Shredell, I don't know. Yeah, I guess Billy uh, Billy Billy Shirtle. Shirdell is up in the is up in the Cardinals pen, warming up, and probably you can expect will be in for Jackie May next inning. But we'll see. Not that Jackie May couldn't pitch another inning and hasn't pitched well because he has. But we're in the bottom of the fifth. And the Cardinals need, their biggest concern is they need four runs. Milt Stock is up. 6-7 is a walk. So Milt Stock works a walk. They're not doing a lot of damage here. They're not getting a lot of hard hit balls off of uh, off Darling. In fact, he's only given up one hit and it was a double, but it's the only hit. Doc Levon, 2-10. That's a single. So the Cardinals have two on. And that's his first hit of the series, and it's only the second hit given up by Darling, but it's with uh, it, it leads to uh, the first two Cardinals hitters of the fifth getting on with no outs. Joe Schultz up, and he gets a 5-6, which is the ground ball to short. And now here's where glove man uh, Santana comes in, the shortstop two. That's an 18, and that is a double play, and that's why he's there. They don't care if he hits at all. There's two outs and a man 90 feet away with Joe Schultz having gotten out. And now Vern Clemens up and he gets a 6-12, which is a ground ball B. And the Cardinals, despite their best, uh, their best uh, attempt at, you know, a, a rally or being, you know, causing problems for the Mets, still come away with nothing. And now Shirtle will go in. So, um, May pitched three. Three really good innings, actually. And now Bill Shirtle's in. And Kevin Mitchell's up at the plate in the top of the sixth with his Mets ahead. Four nothing. And that's a 5-7, which is a single. Right in the middle of everything, and right in the middle of a lot of outs, Mitchell gets a hit. Shirtle allowing a hit to the first guy he sees. And Ray Knight up, who has been hitting great, but not right there. Fly ball right field B. There's one away. And now uh, Rafael Santana, the man without a stick. 5-8, and eight. that's a strikeout. Santana goes down, and Shirtle looks like he may get the Cardinals out of this inning. Mookie Wilson, 6-6, six, six, but maybe not. There's a walk. Mookie Wilson with his second walk of the game, and Shirtle with his first walk pitching. And that brings up 6-11, which is a ground ball to the pitcher, and he is a pitcher one. He has the defensive rating, so we won't assume anything different and that he makes the play so Dykstra's out we go to the bottom of the sixth the Mets are up in the bottom of the sixth and holding a 4 nothing lead they exploded with a grand slam by Gary Carter in the first inning and since then they've been pretty quiet Jack Smith is up he gets a 5-5 which is a fly ball to center and he's out Back to the top of the Cardinals lineup with Jack Smith and getting out. And Jack Fournier is up. 5-6. He's ground ball shortstop. That's uh, Santana. That's an 11 and a 2. That might be something. Nope. No, it isn't. It's an out. So, yeah, it would be if it was a 1. If he was a 1. 2 down and... Rogers Hornsby gets a 5-9, and that's a fly ball to center. Hornsby's out. We go to the top of the seventh. 
Mets batting in the top of the seventh. And Shirtle was a starter reliever, so he can go the rest of the game if the Cardinals uh, deem that to be the way they want to go. 4 8 is a fly ball to left for Hernandez. One away. Daryl Strawberry gets a 1 9, which is a strikeout. Strawberry has not been very good for the Mets this, this series. And Gary Carter, who hit the Grand Slam home run to put the Mets ahead. 6-7 is a ground ball second base. The second baseman is a 2. That is, um, as we've said, that's Hornsby, and he gets an out. Gary Carter is retired, and so are the Mets. We go to the bottom of the 7th. And that brings up Boston McKenzie, who gets a 3-9, which is a strikeout. One away. Jan Brin up for his second at bat of the series. He gets a ground ball to second. The second baseman is, I don't even know what he is. He is a three. That's Wally Backman. And that's a 12 and a three. Probably an out, and it is. So Jan Brin out. And up steps Milt Stock. And he gets a 312, which is a line out into as many outs as possible, which is just one, but that ends the inning for the Cardinals. Wally Backman is coming up, and uh, we've got Shirtle still out there, still pitching well. 2-2 two -two is a line out to third base, so Backman is retired. Kevin Mitchell's up. He gets a 2-9, which is a triple 1-3 to three or a double. And that's going to be a double. That's the first hard hit ball off of Shirtle. Ray Knight gets a 4 5, which is a ground ball C, but it does move um, Mitchell over to third. And now, with a man 90 feet away and two outs, Santana up. Not what you want to see, and he gets a ground ball to the shortstop, and so he is 0 for 8 on the series. We go to the bottom of the 8th. The Cardinals desperately trying to figure out how to get four runs, or even one. Doc Levon gets a 2-6, which is a single, so that, that's, a, that's a nice start. You got to, you know, the... the uh, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, as they say. Joe Schultz is up. He gets a 4-8, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. He's a 3. That is a 20. 20 and 3 is probably a roll again, and it is. And that's an 11 and a 3. And that is an out with no runners, so that's one away. And now the runner is Joe Schultz. Because that was a fielder's choice. Vern Clemens, 6-8. Is a single one to 10. But it's an out. He lines out to the shortstop. And now they're down to their last out in the 8th. Jack Smith up. He gets a 3-7 and he strikes out. So, um, it's really just more of the same. I mean, the first game the Mets scored eight. This game they've only scored four, but they have allowed none still. Mookie Wilson in the top of the ninth. He gets a 3-7, which is a single. And Shirtle's still out there because he has pitched well, and like I said, he was a starter reliever, and he pitched 170 innings that year, so he can certainly... Um, still be out there. And Dykstra's up for six. Is a single one to four or a line out to second base? And it is going to be a line out to second base for Dykstra. One down. Hernandez is up. Six nine is a triple one to nine. Or a single double asterisk. Yeah, single double asterisk. So the Mets have runners at the corners with one out. And they are threatening again. And the Cardinals have got to bring the infield in. 
They absolutely have to. Daryl Strawberry up. He gets a 1-7, which is a fly ball to right field B. So that does score the run. And now it's a 5-0 lead for the Mets. And that brings up Gary Carter. He gets a 2-9, which is a strikeout. So Shirtle allows a run, but I mean, that's the least of their worries that he gave up another run because they can't, the Cardinals can't even score one run. Jack Fournier is up. He gets a 111, which is a single. So again, the Cardinals are throwing that out there, trying to, uh, you know, tease their fans that, hey, hey, we can still come back, except maybe not. Roger Scornsby, he gets a 1-8, but maybe that's a single. So there's two runners on. Of course, they need five runs, so they've really got to, like, keep doing this. And then, actually, that is Roger Hornsby, Rogers Hornsby's first hit of the series. And that brings up McHenry, who has been a pretty good hitter for these, these uh, Cardinals, and he's going to continue here with a triple 1-3 to three double. And that is actually going to be a double that scores a run. Or, wait a minute. They had, it's a double. He comes home. He goes, yeah. Okay. And then, yeah. So now there's runners at second and third. A run is in. McHenry. See, I told you, I lose my train of thought. Um, but McHenry doubles in the first run of the entire series so far for the Mets. Darling allowing the earned run. The Mets are going to stick with him. There's no action in the bullpen so far. Janvrin comes up. He's got a 6-10, which is a double one to three single. And that's going to be a single double asterisk and knocks in two more runs. And still no outs. Janvrin... Gets a hit, knocks in two. Darling allows two more runs, and now the Mets are going to look, and there is some stirring out in the bullpen, and uh, they're going to get Roger McDowell up in the pen. Roger McDowell, when he's not giving somebody a hot foot, He's warming up to come into a close game. And this could be with Milt Stock now up. He's got a 3-9, which is a fly ball right between two hits. That was a fly ball to center field. So there's one away. The Cardinals down at their last two outs. Doc Levon up. 6-10 is a double one to three. Single double asterisk. That's going to be a single double asterisk. And now the, the Cardinals have the tying run at first base and that fifth run is looking real important right now and that is going to be it for Darling he goes eight and a third innings and the Mets will bring in Roger McDowell the uh, former pitching coach of the Atlanta Braves also and now Joe Schultz is up and batting with still just one out and a man at first base. And he gets a 5-5, which is a fly ball to right. There is the second out. And that brings up Vern Clemens to the plate. He gets a 4-10, which is a catcher card. Carter is a 1 at catcher. That's a 17. I don't know what that is. That's a wild pitch followed by a foul out, and that is the game, folks. Vern Clemens gets out, and this one was a lot better. The Cardinals scored three runs in the in the ninth inning to lose it only by the score of 5-3 instead of 5 nothing which is what it looked like they were going to lose the game by. But the 1986 Mets... No real big surprise here. We'll advance to the second round of the round robin tournament. And the 1920 Cardinals will be going home and watching the rest of it from their homes. 
So that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.